All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give our praise, the glory, and honors unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash, the honors the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, to the one to the hopeful lake. This is another edition of G Miss News and Prophecy. And this would be a quick update on the uh, coming shift to uh, uh, digital currency and also leading up to the mark of the beast. Which the mark of the beast will introduce um, an implant, which is the implant, the market chip implant, which will introduce uh, digital currency being used worldwide. And this is something that I've spoken about before, maybe a year or so ago. And um, we're definitely in that time that um, the world moves uh, cashless. Okay, even here in America. Um, so this is from entrepreneur.com. And it's a uh, headline. Facebook will launch its digital currency Libra in January. All right. So this is coming in uh, 2021. All right. Um, this is a furtherance of Esau's um, agenda, his plans. Especially amid this pandemic, where everything is moving to uh, uh, social distancing and 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 um, contactless payments and con- you know being contactless in general, you know, uh, he's not slowing down, you know, and we as well shouldn't uh, slow down pushing out these uh, prophecies and these reports, okay, according to the scriptures. All right, this is from November 30th, 2020, the year of prophecy. And it says Facebook's digital currency project, Libra, will be, will be released in January and its value will be backed by the U.S. dollar. All right, it says according to information from the Financial Times, a year and a half ago, Facebook wanted to launch a cryptocurrency that was similar to Bitcoin, which it called Libra. After some companies such as Visa and MasterCard withdrew from the project and given the concerns expressed by some banks and financial institutions, as well as the European Union, in April of last year, the Libra Association introduced changes that made Libra more of a PayPal type payment system. Um, So, you know, you pretty much see the details here. Uh, It's going to be backed backed by. uh, Backed by. The dollar, um, yeah, it's going to be a digital currency, which technically the dollar is a digital currency, you know. But this is to get people used to uh, using these um, types of currencies. Um, it says that this project is still awaiting approval from FINMA, the Swiss-based financial market surprise, uh uh, supervisory authority, and now it seems that it will also not be a payment system that is launched in January 2021, but rather a stable coin. Uh, a stable coin is a virtual currency, much less volatile than cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, since its value is fixed. In this case, it will be backed by the U.S. dollar. Therefore, a Libra will have the same value as the dollar. That is, its value will depend on what the dollar is worth. Right, and this is a, like I said, this is another step closer to them introducing a new world currency. Okay, um, right, and this oh well, I'm gonna read this, and this makes sense. It's, it says the launch would take place only in the United States and in some Latin American countries. Yeah, because you know America being the big experiment that it is, these people here are not yet ready to uh, to just embrace digital currency or CBDCs on the whole. So they give you these different options in, in these different ways. You know, ESO's all about giving these so-called Americans choices, you know. Um, let's see here. Now it says the goal, sources say, is to use the currency to offer a cross-platform payment system. Having a stable coin, it is easier to get approved than with the volatility of a cryptocurrency. The project would also include the digital wallet Novi, previously called Calibra, from which stable coins could be acquired and operated, for example, on WhatsApp and Messenger in a way that allows 
the sending reception and administration of the new cryptocurrency. All right. And, um, you know, and we're constantly seeing, you know, going to these different stores and seeing uh, Bitcoin machines and, you you know, you, you go on these different payment apps, you know, Cash App and PayPal and you can buy Bitcoin and a Bitcoin and transfer Bitcoin, you know. And uh, once more and more people, especially here in Babylon the Great, which, uh, which we know is America, once people are, you know, used to seeing these things and using cashless, cashless payments and using their smartphones and things like that, then they will, uh, they will, uh, begin to introduce more different technologies, especially the microchip implant, man. So, uh, the marketing beast is coming soon. Um, it's definitely, you know, things are definitely moving quick with these digital currencies. Like it says, you know, they want to launch it in January. Um, so 2021 is definitely going to be another year for prophecy. So uh, with that, I'm going to end it there. I hope it was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory and honors unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom.